Welcome to the Climate Water Outlook for February to April 2019. Widespread and extended periods of extreme heat have dominated Australia's climate so far this summer. El Nino is on hold for now, but warmer than average temperatures are set to continue right across the country. First, let's look at recent conditions. Following Australia's warmest December on record, hot conditions have continued into January. Periods of extreme heat have affected much of the country. The average maximum temperature across Australia was 40 degrees or more for five consecutive days from the 12th to the 16th of January. Nighttime temperatures have also been well above average in January for much of the country. Turning to rainfall, the Australian monsoon, which typically arrives at Darwin around Christmas, was almost a month late. This monsoon has had one of the latest onsets since the 1972-73 season, two days short of a record. For Darwin, this means wet season rainfall is tracking well below average, even with this week's rainfall. In other parts of the north, tropical cyclone Riley formed recently off the Kimberley coast, and the monsoon trough has brought heavy rainfall to tropical Queensland. Large parts of southeast Queensland and much of Tasmania have had a very dry month, with many places likely to see their driest January on record. Parts of inland New South Wales had near average January rainfall, but much of this was in short intense downpours from thunderstorms that filled waterholes only temporarily. Drier than average conditions and the ongoing heat have led to an active fire season in Tasmania and Victoria. Fires in Tasmania have burnt tens of thousands of hectares and are still burning. There's been little change to rainfall deficiencies in eastern and inland parts of the country. Areas of lowest on record have expanded in northwestern New South Wales and southwestern Queensland. Soil moisture across most of Australia continues to be below average. Many water storages are much lower than at this time last year, particularly in the Murray-Darling Basin, southern Victoria and along the New South Wales coast. So what's influencing our climate in the coming months? The tropical Pacific Ocean is still warmer than usual, but atmospheric indicators such as cloudiness and the trade winds have remained neutral, meaning El Nino has not locked in. We've lowered our ENSO outlook to El Nino watch, but residual heat in the tropical Pacific means El Nino may develop later in 2019. So what's the rainfall outlook for February to April? Much of Western and Southern Australia and parts of the East are likely to be drier than average. In the shorter term, the arrival of the monsoon is likely to bring widespread heavy rainfall to large parts of the tropical north. Stream flows in January to March are likely to be low or near median at most forecast locations. Some high flows are likely in northern Tasmania and along the east coast of the mainland, particularly in Queensland. Temperatures for February to April are likely to be warmer than average across the country. The recent heat and the warm temperature outlook mean bushfire and heatwave risks remain high, particularly across the southern states. So in summary, rainfall is likely to be below average for much of the country, particularly in the west. Low and near median stream flows are forecast for much of Australia and temperatures are very likely to be warmer than average. For more details, visit our website at bomb.gov.au forward slash climate forward slash ahead. You can also get updates via Facebook and Twitter. Our next video will be released on Thursday the 14th of February. For the Bureau of Meteorology, I'm Paul Fakema.